Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and today we're going to be picking this nine disc disc lock. And you can tell by that half moon keyway that this is, um, well, you might think it's an Abloy classic. Um, and looking at the key, you might think it's an Abloy classic, but I think it's a clone of some kind. A good clone, actually, very good. Um, I've made a cutaway out of this by just cutting into it with a rotary multi tool. And just see how, um, not only how small those discs are, but how little spacing that is um, between each disc with those little washers in between. It's a really fine lock, this one. Um, even if it's a clone, it's, it's surprisingly well made. You just see how um, many discs there are. So this is um, zero disc at the back. It tensions from the rear. Then you've got a whole load of other discs in various bittings. And I've got a little black line there. Why? Well, if I put, insert the key, all the way down there you'll see that that black line is where roughly the key meets the first disc and so this bit here is actual bitting it looks like an anti-drill spinner disc and in well in one regard it is look i can turn all that round um easily using the using the tip of the key and it spins full 360 so you can't tension off it uh, but it has a gate here and a gate here. It's a so it is gated, so you have to get it in the right orientation, otherwise the lock will not open. Really nice little feature. I don't know if the uh, original Abloy Classics do have that. There is a sidebar coming around. It's normally housed in that little gap there. I don't think you'll see it as it comes back around. A bit too deep in the keyway, I think, but there you go. So it's a surprisingly good um, lock, and it's really nice to make a cutaway out of this because it's a great teaching aid, great learning aid, um, and, and also good to um, um, you know show people like yourselves what's inside one of these. Although you can gut it and I might do that at the end. So let me grab a vise, we'll throw this in, and we'll use this silver bullet tool with an Abloy Classic tip on there. Where is it there? And we'll see if we can't uh, pick this thing. Right. So first thing I'm going to do is just get a bit of shrink tube and pop that over uh, the lock so that we, we can't see the discs, don't want to, uh, to cheat. Um, it's not an easy lock at all, this one, just because even though it doesn't have any false gates, there are nine very, very thin discs. Um, it's hard to sort of keep that tension control, uh, pick the lock, not slip off the discs, those kind of things. Where's the key? Um, we might be able to gut this afterwards if we're very, very lucky. Make sure that's um, zeroed to... Um, well, I'm doing this one, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, 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 counterclockwise. So, right. Got my um, pick set up. Feels good. Make sure it's all aligned um, centrally. Okay, good. Right. Pop that in. Like that. Now I'm going to, let's move that back a bit for you. Tension using my left hand, like that. And then we're going to try and pick using the um, right hand like this. Okay, so the first thing is, is to just make sure you get the pick aligned at an angle where it's easy to put the tip in and out and that's fine so we're on the first uh, disc I think which is here and that's the spinner is it binding hmm I wouldn't say so no so I'm gonna leave that next disc disc 2 Binding. I think I slipped off the disc there. Yeah, I got a click out of it there. Um, oh no, there's disc. There's a spinner. Let's have a go. Got a click on on it anyway. Um, that's disc two, disc three now. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Disc four. 
Okay, that's all right. Disk five. Binding, 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 and uh, quite far at that time before it finished. Six, that's there. Seven, binding quite strongly. I must have missed a disk somewhere. That was eight. This is seven. That's better. Six is fine. Five is in a gate. All much more positive now. Falls in a gate and we are open, I think, yeah. Okay, let's open, let's uh, just check. I might have, <laughs> it might, might be me second guessing the lock. It felt like um, the disks went round. So we'll tell because you'll see if I turn this, there you go, the whole thing turns and you can see the sidebar. So we definitely got everything um, picked there. So, um, this actually got good feedback. The spinner disc at the front didn't bind until I think discs two and three were set. Then as I slowly went down, uh, when I went back up, uh, it's almost like I had to just nudge the discs um, from discs seven, six, five, and four sort of into their gates just that little bit more. Just It just needed that, that little bit of encouragement. Um, so yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of good fun picking this one because it's not particularly easy, but it is doable. But it is also guttable. So um, um, I will quickly gut this for you. It isn't massively difficult to um, to gut. Um, I just use a key to get everything back in. There you go. What you need to do is take this little spring clip out. So uh, see it there? So okay, sort of need to do it in a way which means that you don't fling the whole thing across the room but if you get under it like that put your finger on top there you're going just about prize it out uh, you'll see there aren't any false gates on this but you'll see that the front or first disc is a spinner oh there you go and i think that i've got the side bar that just came out literally just a little bar uh maybe worth just seeing the inside of the the body, you can see the sidebar groove there. Can you see that? Just here by my fingernail. There, that's the sidebar groove. Um, leave that there actually, why not? And then we have a, basically all, almost pairs of um, discs. And you'll see this is the spinner. It has a, a gate on either side, there and there. But there's no stop. So there's none of these little ears that poke out to, to stop it. In fact, it sort of almost sits above the, I don't want to tip it too far, it'll fall out, fall out but it sits above the stack. Not quite, but it almost does. So let me just take these out quickly. And it's probably got hardened steel or something. Spins round completely, doesn't have a stop. Um, what do I mean by stop? Um, so it doesn't have one of those little ears. I think I mentioned them earlier. You see there's a, that there is the gate. There aren't any false gates, only the true gates. The little washers, which is the spacing by which we go between with the pick tip. So the pick tip has to navigate the space of this washer they are ever so slightly, can you see? They're slightly profiled, so even though they're very thin, um, they reduce the amount of surface contact area between the disc and the washer, um, which obviously makes it more smooth in operation. Some of these discs, and if you know why, let me know in the comments, some of these discs have 
it's still cut out in the middle. I can't see what purpose at all it serves. Um, I can't figure it out. Uh, the only ones which do are positions three and eight. So if we look on the key, they are uh, one, two, three and eight. So they are the deepest cuts, but I can't still tell why um, they have them. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Can't figure it out. Somebody will absolutely know and it'll be like, oh, that's why. It'll be really obvious, but I don't know why. And there isn't anything else to say about it, really. It's a, a tricky lock because of the um, uh, very small discs, very small spacing in between um, the number of discs as well. But uh, and, and, you know, having to, to use such a fine picking tip. Should we just look at that again, just how thin that is? Um, but it is doable, it is possible, and certainly um, me making a cutaway of it and so I could have a look inside the lock and understand it really helped me learn. So if you ever do get a chance to uh, get a little cam lock like this, which won't be very much money compared to, uh, you know, I know an Abloy padlock or something, uh, they, they make actually surprisingly easy cutaways just by, you know, cutting with a, a saw or a multi-tool or something like that. It's, it's relatively easy. So yeah, worthwhile doing. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you all next time.